So you see now we will discuss about your order 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 nata. You see the answer is your word dragonfly and damselfly. Okay, the synonym so many synonyms are there. In general, they are predatory in nature. That's why it is written as darning needle, devil's darning needle, mosquito hawk. They will feed on the mosquito swing needle, skitter hawk, snake doctor, snake feeder. Like these different names are there. Okay, what is the meaning of this odonata or etymology? Odon means tooth. That means their body is highly sclerotized and in their mandibles, what will happen? Very strong denticles will be there. That's why it is known as what your odonata. Odon means what your tooth The common names here of what dragonfly and your damselfly is the example of order odonata. So here you can see medium to large size insect. Okay, they are attractively colored. Here you can see. Yes or no? Head is globular and constricted behind into a petiolate neck. Okay, you see this is the head. This is the thorax. A petiolate neck will be there. Okay, compound eyes are very large. Here you can see this is the compound eye of your uh, dragonfly. This is the compound eye of your what your damselfly. Yes or no? Uh, three ocelli are present. Okay, everywhere three ocelli will be present. Okay, here you see. Three ocelli are everywhere. Three ocelli will be present. Okay, mandibles are strongly toothed. That's why known as odonata. Lacinia and gallia are fused to form mala. Yes or no? This one we have completed in the mouth parts. Try to remember. In maxilla, what will happen? Lacinia plus gallia makes mala. In case of your labium, glossa and paraglossa makes your ligula. Yes or no? M for maxilla, M for mala. L for labium, L for ligula, try to remember, don't forget. Okay. So, wings are either equal or subequal, membranous they are, you see both the wings are membranous, useful for flight. Venous is network like with many cross veins, here you can see many cross veins are there. Wings have a dark pterostigma, this is the pterostigma, this is the pterostigma, okay, in all the wings you see. Towards the coastal apex, this is the coastal margin, coastal apex region. Yes or no? Subcosta ends in the nodus. Here you can see this is the uh, costa will be there, then subcosta will be there, ends at the nodus. At the nodus, what will happen? They will be ending. Wing flexing mechanism is absent. While the dragonfly under rest, they cannot bring their wings up to their abdomen. Yes or no? This flexing mechanism is absent here. Very, very important. Okay. Both in case of ephemeroptera, then your this one also. Odonata. Legs are anterofrontally placed. Here you can see legs are coming forward anterofrontally. Okay. A scooping type of prehensile leg. This type of leg is known as what your scooping type or prehensile leg. They are suited for grasping, holding, and conveying the prey to their mouth. That means through which they will capture the prey and they will take it into their mouth inside. Forward shift of the leg, uh, shift of the leg attachment allow easy transfer of prey items into the uh, a mouth during flight legs are held in such a way that a basket is formed into which the food is scooped that's why the name is known as what a scooping type abdomen is long and slender everything you can see in the picture yes or no how they are you see how they are pushing their prey into their mouth but they are predatory in nature carnivorous in nature okay you see this is important paid gonopper in case of uh, that means paid gonopper means what what is happening you see in general, what happens in case of male, the reproductive organ is present on the 9th. In case of female, that is present on 8th and 9th. Yes or no? Sperm receiving organ is 8th one. Here, what is happening, you see, this is the male. Huh? This is the male and this is the female. Okay, in general, what happens in the 9th abdominal segment, the adiagus, the penis will be there. But in dragonfly, what is happening, you see, in their second abdominal segment, the penis will be there. In case of female, what will happen in the... 8th abdominal segment, the vagina will be there. So, like this, the copulation will happen. Understood? Yes or no? Again, what this male is doing, you see, by using their sarsi, what it is doing? It is holding the female head properly and they like this, the mating is happening. Yes or no? Understood clearly? 
sperm will be produced in the ninth abdominal segment it will be sent back to the second abdominal segment then the female has to rotate the hair eighth abdominal segment for what mating then only what will happen sperm transfer will happen understood yes or no yes sir okay then you see sarsi is one segmented this is the sarsi one pair of sarsi are there sarsi is one segmented okay again the uh, thing are same you see just like your uh, ephemeroptera metamorphosis is incomplete that is your hemimetabolous insect yes or no three life stages naiad is aquatic labium is uh, greatly enlarged you see this is the labium is greatly enlarged this type of mouth part is known as what are masking type when a prey will come they will close the labium so that the food will enter into their intestine understood yes or no yes sir next you see this is the life cycle mating happen adult aerially then drying out oh, sorry then oh, like this i am going sorry like this ha huh? then depositing the eggs inside the water then emerging the nymphs will come out yes or no ha huh? like this they will come out molting will happen okay and like this that will continue understood yes sir egg stage near 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 then adult then mating again the life cycle will continue okay so you see there are two sub order anisoptera and zygoptera anisoptera is dragonfly zygoptera is damselfly okay some uh, differences are there okay adult in case of dragonfly strong flyer but damselfly are weak flyer okay on equal wings here both the wings are equal okay uh, that means you see what is on equal hind wings are broader than the fore wing that is the meaning of on equal but in case of damselfly both wings will be same okay wings are broadly attached to the abdomen in case of dragonfly here petiolated that means narrow one is fixed okay wing held horizontally at rest here vertically above the abdomen they will be under rest okay here what will happen for wing hind wings venation is not similar here that is similar okay this is this is important you see holoptic and dioptic okay holoptic and dioptic eyes i think i have told you so new that one Okay, here you see. This is holoptic dragonfly. Both are close to each other. But here you see, dioptic means what? Dioptic means what? They are a clear zone is there in between these two compound eyes, separated. Okay. You see, in case of dragonfly, head usually not transversely elongated and more rounded. Head is transversely elongated. Okay. Male with three appendages at the end of the abdomen. Here, male with four appendages. Okay. Uh, maximum adult life cycle is six to eight weeks. That is three to. No, these are not that much important. Okay. Naiad. these are stout and robust here it is slender and fragile gills are internal found associated with the rectum rectal pouch but here in this is important this is very very important point you see okay in case of dragonfly that is rectal pouch in case of damselfly that is your what caudal yes or no three leaf like gills will be there in case of dragonfly that will be retained within the rectum okay uh, in case of uh, dragonfly able to able to propel themselves by forcibly ejecting water through the anus lack like this jet propulsion mechanism okay the gills of dragonfly nymphs are in form of breeze in the rectum and the gills of damson nymphs are in the form of three leaf like structure caudal gills okay so minimum you remember four to five points here first thing is here on equal wings here equal wings here uh, compound eyes are fused here that is separated yes or no here what will happen you see they are having rectal uh, Uh, gills here they are the caudal gills ha huh? these points you remember sufficient okay dragonfly and damselfly dragonfly is anisoptera damselfly is zygoptera again example is one point yes or no four to five point you remember sufficient clear acha suno subscribe karte waqt na ghanti baja dena taki jab main online aaun to tumhare phone ki bhi ghanti bache